In the first episode, Franz and I went trolling with the Viper 40 on a big Clearwater Lake. We had lots of action, some bad luck, there it goes. and in the end just one quality fish. Oh, this is a nice fish. Due to bad weather and the lack of a boat <laughs> on my part during the first yeah, months of the year, we had to postpone our mission for a bit. But now with the new boat fully operational, the hunt is back on. Yo! Our goal is to catch the holy grail of pike fishing, a colossal fish that just challenges the imagination, a northern pike that crosses the 20 kilogram mark, a fish that so many anglers dream of, and as always, trying to have as much fun as we can along the way. In the past we have come close or even crossed the magical 20 kilogram mark, but we never got the chance to properly document the whole journey towards catching such a unique fish. This winter we are fully committed in chasing down that elusive giant, using a variety of techniques such as casting, trolling, slow trolling, and yeah for the haters out there, also some pelagic fishing. Our journey is sure to be riddled with setbacks and more often than not we'll find ourselves frustrated and wondering what the hell we are doing. It's, it's completely fucking frozen up. No it's off. This will be a multiple part series on the channel. Wish us luck guys, we're gonna need it. Oh fucking yes. March is the time of the year to catch the heaviest possible northern pike in the Netherlands. A month that is relatively easy in terms of catching numbers, but those are usually the smaller males that are roaming around the shallow areas with dead vegetation almost for the entire season. The weather is horrible and so is the traffic at the moment in the Netherlands, but that doesn't stop us at all. The biggest fish will hit the shallows at some point and that is what we hope to do in the coming three days. We go all in on shallow water fishing in the hope of running into that elusive giant. Our quest for a 20 kilo pike continues. Enjoy! The first two days I'm fishing with Jasper and even though we planned this trip relatively short up front, the weather just switched completely badly. From sunshine and a little bit of wind to no wind at all and full rain. But that doesn't stop us at all. Got the first pike. So we switched towards a, uh, a drop off where there's some grass standing close towards deeper water. Yeah, it's completely pale and they're not really big as well, so I don't know. They're all like skinny. Safe wind. Okay. Yeah, there she goes. Hi guys. On the Harakiri Super Swimmer. With some yellow beaker case, case to match the color of the bait. Jesper's a really big fan of those, so. Uh, <laughs> Let's get another one, man. Switch towards the heaviest setup out there. What's that? Ah. Oh. 
Jak upaję na wielu... Komaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
so. We end up close towards 20 fish with more than 40 strikes throughout the entire day. We didn't get a second chance to catch that giant, but who knows what day three will bring. Hello! Morning, day three. Our quest for a big fish continues. We got hammered by the rain for two days in a row. Wind was getting gnarly as well. Uh, and I switched out Jesper with uh, Franz, the lucky charm. <laughs> uh, it doesn't feel like the pike are migrating in towards the, uh, the shallows with these ultra bright conditions. Um, yeah, we can find them in the deeper spots, especially the bigger ones, I guess. Um, we will be doing some shallow jerkbait fishing, I guess. But uh, yeah, I think if you want to catch a big one, we need to go to the deeper edges towards the shallows. So what? the water is hot. Hot? As in, uh, it's not showing in the graph. <laughs> Fuck. All right, let's get the bait out. Enough shit talking. Go. Gonna go with the Maximus. Nice. And I'm gonna go for the uh, the goldfish. We got the wind in our back, so it should be doable to cast. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Natural lubrication. 100% biologisch. Oh, oh, oh! Currently targeting a deeper hole. And I'm scouting with the Mega Life. Not to just cast the pelagic sense, but just to see if uh, what direction the bait fish are. And also sometimes to get a reading at how far the drop off is. So far, just one fish following on the whitefish shell. So we're cruising around in this deeper hole, which is situated close to shallow water. And the idea is that the fish are in this pocket because the sun isn't really out and it's just a green... Not so nice day to be out on the water, but... Uh, or on the shallows for that regard. Let's see if... Oh, 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 big fish following! Yeah, take it, take it, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yo! <laughs> what the hell? Yo! Animals. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. What And you've seen like 20 fish, something like that. Most of them following right next to the boat and then dropping down again to the deep. One fish that almost got into the boat and a few that we lost. But uh, most of all, it's just fish following. So, we spotted a lot of brim. Pike should be around, so we are whipping out the big uh, trolling stuff. We're gonna do uh, an hour of trolling above the uh, schools of brim. Let's see if we can get a, a big fish biting some of our big swim baits. We're gonna go all in, I think, on a big oh, spinner bait. So, this is a prototype, by the way. Nice. Um, yeah, gonna go all in on these, uh, these big fish lurking on the shallows close to the brim. This should be here. Just not getting the takes at the moment, casting with jerk baits. Um, the spot prior to it, we had a lot of takes and uh, well, a lot of followers. 
just a handful of takes. But it's almost 11 o'clock and not a single fish in the boat, so we need to uh, switch it up. So we're probably gonna get the big stuff out and see if it works. And I'm looking for, yes, some of the OG stuff. Look at this one. <laughs> Yeah, let's get them out, buddy. Some roaches, some pill sails, maybe even a 40 centimeter trout, and um, let's see if we can trick them that way. Pull over, Slide. Op de SS25. Zo, yo, nog een keer. <laughs> I saw it taking the lure twice. Yeah. I saw it in the side planer. And I was like, hey, maybe it will try again. So I nice. sped up a little. Nice. Well played, well played. There's so much brim in this spot, man. Oh, well, and it's gone. The trolling oh. wasn't productive either. So we decided to switch back to casting for the final two hours. risk of not getting the fish in the bowl, but yeah, my fingers are smelling like pike, so counts. See him well. Oh, dang it. <laughs> yeah, it was an obvious little snail, oh, godverdomme. What a stom gedoe, zeg. Yeah. Nou, zou het dan toch eindelijk... <laughs> Finally. That's a nice fish, dude. Oh, it looks like it already spawned. I even touched the leader. Yep. Okay. Oh. You're a scary one, aren't you? Got it. <laughs> That one hasn't spawned yet. Quickly remove the little haki. Nice. Because of the wounds, I thought you might have spawned, but it's still, uh, like Sean says, a super clunky fish. Yes! Victory! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Not a true monster, but really happy that there's one that sticks to the travels. The curse has been lifted. <laughs> I realized during editing that I was super lucky because my damn snap was open. So I always had trust issues with these tail locks and after this one it hasn't improved at all. 
We grinded so hard to finally get a heavy pre-spawner, but the season ain't over yet. On the so stay tuned actually. for our final session of the oh, year, oh. where we oh. meet an absolute, oh, absolute, absolute shit, giant. Stay tuned. <laughs>